Hey guys, Naders here, and there have been a lot of characters that I have wanted to see get into multiverses. Some are more likely than others, but I decided for a while that I would make some videos on some characters that I would like to see get into the game. Some of you may be familiar with the character in today's video, and some may not. I ask that you please watch the concept I made for this character. I try to make him as interesting as possible, and I doubt anybody would expect him to work like the way I made him. So, who is that character? Well, I am talking about Bingo from the Banana Splits. Now, I know what many of you might be thinking. Aren't these characters from a kids TV show? And I will admit, I had the same reaction at first as well. But after doing more research on the Banana Splits, I sort of became fascinated with them. They are such fun characters. Please allow me to explain. The original series ran from 1968 to 1970. Then they had a series of comics that ran from 1969 to 1971. Then in 2008 they got a reboot. But all the fun really began in 2017. This was when DC Comics released a comic crossover with the Banana Splits and the Suicide Squad. This was the start of the Banana Splits being used very differently than they were previously. In 2019, there was a comedy horror film released on the Banana Splits, and more recently, they have appeared in the Jellystone TV show. In it, they are literally criminals. They do stupid things like painting fruit the wrong color and stealing hot dogs, but still criminals nonetheless. And this is really what fascinated me. The Splits started off as these innocent little kids characters. Now they have became something very different, and I wanted to showcase that in their moveset. But I had to only choose one of the splits. So who did I choose? Well, I chose Bingo. And there are a couple reasons for this, but most of all, it's probably because he's my favorite character. There are four splits to choose from, those being Flegal, Bingo, Drooper, and Snorky. I really like Bingo's personality, and his character design is the best of the splits in my opinion. Bingo seems to be the second most popular, or the most popular character of the splits. The debate of most popular is between him and Flegal. This makes sense, as Flegal is the main split. Each of the splits have their positives and negatives. Snorky was the main split in the Banana Splits movie, and they all have a decent amount of moveset potential. So it really did just come down to personal preference, and in my opinion, Bingo is the best, so I decided to go with him. There is a little more to it than that though. Bingo also seems to be the most unique of the splits. He's supposed to be a gorilla, and seems to be the biggest of the splits in most depictions of him. He also is insanely strong. Take these couple panels from their comic for example. Bingo is shown being able to hold up two dune buggies and both Snorky and Drooper. He is also shown carrying a heavy looking dresser like no problem, as well as lifting up a bed with ease. None of the other splits are shown to have this type of strength, and I think it adds to Bingo's character. It makes him more interesting in my opinion. He's a big, strong gorilla who happens to always be smiling, which is just so fun to me. One thing I should probably get out of the way quick is that this video will contain some spoilers from the Splits media. I won't try to spoil any of the storylines too much, but you may see some scenes or panels that could end up being spoilers. So before I go into his moveset, I'll first go over his gimmick, which is a pretty simple one. For those who are familiar with Princess Peach from Smash, it's pretty similar to her gimmick. In the Banana Splits animated movie called The Banana Splits in Hocus Pocus Park, it is shown that the Splits hats can be used sort of like balloons to slow their fall. I think Bingo could use this to his advantage in multiverses. I imagine it working like this. If Bingo is in the air, he can hold up. After a second or two, he will take off his hat and it will blow up like a balloon. During this animation, it could hit and damage players, but that isn't really its intention. Its intention is to slow Bingo's fall back to the stage. It would have a bit of end lag and would be stopped as soon as either Bingo touches the stage or the player stops holding up. This is a little similar to Gizmo's umbrella, except this wouldn't be a move like his. I think it could be fun and would add to Bingo's character. Now let's get into Bingo's moves. In multiverses, there are two types of moves, attacks and specials. Each one has an air and grounded move. There is one more thing as well. In the new trailer we got a couple weeks ago, we were shown that characters now have dash attacks. So I'll go over Bingo's dash attack first. In the Jellystone TV show, the splits are seen swapping their hats for some new ones with spikes on the top of them. I imagine Bingo's dash attack working like this. Bingo would put on the spiked hat, put his head down, and charge forward. I envision it being kind of similar to the charging chucks from Mario if you're familiar with that. 
But for bingos, he would put his head down so the spike would damage the opponent when he charges forward. Now we can get into his regular attacks. I'll go over his grounded attacks first, and then the aerial ones. For some of the moves, I've taken them from images that exist, some of them I've taken them from the movies and shows, and some of them are from the comics. For his neutral ground, I got the idea from some promotional artwork. Bingo tends to be depicted with a symbol and a drumstick. I think that for his neutral ground, he could bang the symbol with the drumstick, and it could send a shockwave forward. I think if the move is charged, he should be able to walk around the stage holding the drumstick in the air about ready to slam it down on the cymbal. I think the longer that you charge the move, the larger the bang, which then means that it gives off a larger shockwave. I think this would be a fun move, and it would make sense for his character. I will say now that his specials are where he gets interesting, so keep watching to see what I'm talking about. For Bingo's forward ground, he would do a combo of kicks and punches. Bingo has been seen fighting a decent amount. He is shown fighting other inmates in the Suicide Squad comic, and he is shown fighting Snorky in the Banana Splits movie. So I don't think it would be that out of the question for him to be seen doing this in multiverses. Characters such as Shaggy have been seen doing a combo move for their forward ground, so it would work to have Bingo's also work similarly. For Bingo's upground, he would pull out a guitar and jab it upwards. I got this idea again from some promotional artwork. Bingo is shown to have a guitar above his head, so I think it would work nice as a move. I'd imagine it could probably be a charge move as well. The guitar would obviously be the hitbox in this case. For Bingo's downground, he would do a downward sweep with a sword. This comes from the Banana Splits comics. In this panel, it looks like he is holding a wooden sword, but it is actually later revealed to be either gold or silver. So if the devs wanted to, they could make it look wooden and have it be more comic accurate. Or they could have it be silver or gold. Personally, I'd probably like it to be gold or silver. This is because I want his criminal aspect to be shown more in his moveset, and I think that a golden sword seems to match that a bit better than a wooden looking one. And that is the last of Bingo's grounded attacks. So now we can get into his aerials. For Bingo's neutral air, he would drink some of a milkshake and then start laughing and spit it back out. This comes from a scene in Jellystone where they are drinking some milkshakes that they stole. But then they start laughing. I think that the milkshake that he spits out would have a hitbox that could damage players. It's a pretty simple move, but also a unique one. I also would love to see that he is drinking three milkshakes like he does in the movie clip, because that just seems really funny to me. For Bingo's forward air, he could swing a bag of hot dogs forward. The hot dogs don't really have to be visible, it could just be him swinging a bag forward, but if the devs wanted to keep it accurate, then the bag would be filled with hot dogs. They actually stole these hot dogs, I'm not really sure why you'd want to put like hot dogs in a bag, but that doesn't really matter. The bag would have a hitbox that could damage opponents. For Bingo's up air, I had two ideas. Both would do the same thing, just look different visually. He would either A, jab two drumsticks upward so that they hit each other. This would have the intent of getting a player caught in between the drumsticks before the drumsticks come together touching each other. Or the same thing could happen, but with pots and pans. The pot and pans idea comes from the comic. The pots and pans would probably have a larger hitbox due to them being bigger than the drumsticks, but the drumsticks would probably make more sense to his character because he is a musician. Either way, he would jab one set of these items together, hitting players that get caught in between them. I also had two ideas for Bingo's down air, but these two moves would work differently unlike the up air one. The first idea I had was him swinging a hammer downward. This is similar to Bugs' move and would work the same, just look different visually. But if you don't like the idea of having a move that is the same as a different character, then I thought that he could have a move where he starts falling rapidly. Then after a second or two, he would catch fire. This comes from a scene that was found on the Banana Splits website back when that still existed. Basically, from what I have gathered, there was an interactive animated short called a web premiere tune. In this scene, Bingo is technically falling in space towards Earth, which is why he is on fire. But I think it could work as a move in multiverses, setting fire to whoever Bingo touches. And that is it for his attacks. Now we get to his specials, which really start showing the other side of Bingo. Again, I'll go over his grounded specials before his aerial ones. I'll go over his down special first because it affects his neutral special. For Bingo's down special, he would switch between a variety of guns. I'll assume guns are fair game in multiverses due to Stripe having a gun move. 
Bingo has been seen with a total of four different guns. One is the banana split gun shown off in the Jellystone shell. This gun shoots a paste that makes things sticky. I think this gun would slow down opponents if they were hit by it. Then there are the other three guns, which are all seen in the Suicide Squad comic. He can be seen with a handgun, a double barrel shotgun, and a pump shotgun. The handgun could be more useful for up close combat, but would most likely just rack up damage. The pump shotgun would have a decent range, but also have less power than the double barrel shotgun. I think maybe they could have the guns be sort of realistic, where you have to keep track of the ammo and have to reload. Maybe the banana split gun could have infinite ammo due to it being a ray gun type gun. The double barrel on the other hand would have the least amount of ammo and the pump would have the most. For Bingo's neutral special he would shoot these guns. If you run out of ammo, you can press the neutral special button again on the ground and it will reload. This of course would leave you vulnerable to incoming attacks. The guns would have the same order in the cycle when the down special is pressed. I think this could make Bingo a very interesting character and I doubt this is how most people would expect him to play. For Bingo's forward ground, he would throw an axe forward. It would spin in the air and go a certain range before disappearing. This comes from the Banana Splits movie poster. In it, Bingo is shown holding an axe. He actually is not seen using it in the movie at all, which is sort of disappointing. I think the axe would deal a decent amount of damage and have a bigger hitbox than the gun options. Again, I think this is very different than the bingo people would expect to see in multiverses, and it would make him a fun character in my opinion. For Bingo's upground, he would get some help from Snorky, who has the ability to fly for some reason. In the same Hocus Pocus Park movie that I mentioned earlier, Snorky is seen flying in the air carrying the rest of the splits and a couple other characters. I think Bingo could hold onto Snorky's tail as Snorky would fly upward for a short period of time. As you can see, Snorky's trunk spins, so I think that that could be the hitbox for this move, because I'd imagine a quickly spinning trunk would probably hurt. That finishes the ground specials. But actually, all of Bingo's aerial specials are the same as the grounded version, but one. That being his forward special. For Bingo's forward aerial special, he would grab a pole and pole vault with it. This comes from the Hocus Pocus Park movie again, and I'd imagine it working very similar to Yokes from Indie Pogo. I doubt many of you are familiar with that game, but I do enjoy it myself. I think that Bingo himself would have a hitbox and a pole wouldn't. Or maybe if the pole did have one, it would be very small. The move could be cancelled at any point, and it could propel Bingo forward in the air. It would also give him a little extra height. I think it is a very fun idea and not something seen very often in platform fighters. Before I forget, it is important to mention that Bingo's neutral special would work a little differently in the air. His guns can still be fired in the air, but he can only reload them when he is touching the stage. This makes players have to be strategic and not wasteful of their ammo. His up special could also be used as a recovery when used in the air. And that is the end of the moveset that I created for Bingo. I think the only other way that he could work in multiverses is to have more of a musically focused moveset. But I like this idea more for a moveset. I think that Bingo would be a super interesting and fun character to play, and I do genuinely hope that he gets added into multiverses. There are some other things that could be worked into his moveset from the comics, those being dynamite and this jump syrup stuff. I can imagine him drinking the syrup and then getting a jump buff or something, but overall I'm pretty happy with the moveset that I made for him and I'd like it to just be kept the same. I also thought of some costume ideas for Bingo. I'll quickly run through all of them. I think Bingo's default outfit should look like this, just his vest and his hat. Then he could have his casual look from the Suicide Squad comic where he's seen wearing a red vest, a long sleeve shirt, some pants, and maybe the purple gloves that he is seen wearing briefly. He could also have his two prison outfits, because yes, Bingo has been arrested. Twice. <laughs> One could be him in his orange prison jumpsuit from the Suicide Squad comic, while the other could be the black and white prison outfit from Jellystone. Then he could have the look where he joins the Suicide Squad. He wears the same red vest, but now he has a sash on and some more tactical looking pants. He appears to also be wearing a pocket knife, which could maybe also be worked as a move if the devs wanted to. 
He could also have an outfit of the look that he has at the end of the Suicide Squad comic where he is performing. He appears to be wearing a red bandana and some goggles. He also has his jumpsuit down and tied off around at the waist. For the final costume that comes from the Banana Splits comic, he could have the cool looking outfit he wears on the comic cover. He appears to be wearing some nicer clothes with a pink shirt and a white dress coat. He also appears to be wearing something that looks like a police badge to me. It could be something else though. He could have a raincoat outfit like he does in the comics, as well as a chef outfit. And just a fun idea I had, he could also have a fish outfit. <laughs> These images were taken from two different comics. But he could have an outfit where his vest is filled with some fish, and maybe his hat is also replaced with a fish. He could also have an outfit where he is dressed like an astronaut. Finally, he could just have some vest palette changes. Like in the web premiere tune where his vest is green instead of yellow. I actually think that Bingo has a lot more potential than people initially realize, and I really would love to see him become a playable character for Multiverses. While researching things for his moveset, I did find some interesting things that I wanted to share quickly. In the original comic, Bingo is seen saying something and Drooper is seen saying ditto back to Bingo. Then in the Suicide Squad comic, the same type of interaction is seen. Bingo says that he feels naked without his shades, to which Drooper says ditto to. It was just fun to me that this interaction was so similar in a comic from nearly 50 years later. There also is a panel where Drooper is seen underwater using his trunk to breathe, which is very similar to a scene from Hocus Pocus Park. Part of me wonders if the comic was used for inspiration for that movie. Anyways, it's been a long video and I should probably wrap it up here. Overall, I think Bingo would be an amazing character choice and would liven up the Multiverses roster. What do you think of the moveset I created for him? Do you have anything to add? Let me know down in the comments. Next week, I plan to make another video set up similarly to this one. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing, but also consider going back and watching my previous videos. I've created a video very similar to this one, so I'll put it at the top right of the screen now. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next week.